Okay, so today I've secured the tickets. So for the next two vlogs, I purchased that Super Value or Pettits um, in St. Aidan's. That's the one location in Wexford Town. There's different locations you can check the website for them. Um, now today there's a match at 5:30. It's the footballers, um, and then tomorrow we have the hurling at 3 p.m. Both of them in Wexford Park. So I decided it would be good to show you what it's like, the ambiance, the atmosphere of coming to a match when you're in Wexford, to go see Wexford both in the football and the hurling. Now the hurling will be probably more followed on. And today also, to add insult to injury, we have the Heineken Cup final, which will be on at uh, 4.45. So whereas the footballers throw in is at 5.30. So we'll see what that's like. So stay with me and we'll uh, experience what it's like. So if you're traveling somewhere else and you don't uh, know what a football or hurling game is well you can watch the vlog and see it and if you're you know reminiscing on being there what it's about what it's like just stay and we'll experience it together all right so when you come into the stands you usually have coffees docks and that so there's one you can get coffee drinks chips sandwiches and stuff there's bathrooms on either end now today is going to be a quiet affair because, like I said, the uh, the rugby's on at the same time. So we'll just take a walk around and see what it looks like. Players are still there. Here's a mural of the footballers. And like I said, there's more coffee dogs around, and there's a. Uh, an indoor place where you can go in, but like I said, today will be a quiet affair. Here's some more mosaics. Not murals, mosaics. And then there's the toilets and education hub. Don't know what that's for. Usually you have sandwiches and stuff in there. Yeah, that's what it is. It's for the uh, stewards and stuff like that. And then there's another coffee docket at the end. And here's the bathrooms. Here's what the bathrooms look like in Wexford Park. So it's the trough styles. And then they have the sinks and then a few normal Western toilets there. Places to wipe your hands. And away we go.
First half, we're gonna sit on the close stand, and then at halftime, I'll cross over on the other side, and we'll sit on the open stand, and we'll see two different perspectives. So I'll show you bits and parts of the game, and see the atmosphere, what happens at a, a GAA football match. what it looks like on the pit side. Up close, you have the man manager there, the banish door. Oh. It's up close. 
Christmas, you get to see the connection. So there's 35 minutes to a half, but they're playing three minutes at a time. And then you'll see all the little kids run out in the field at halftime. So we're at 37 and a half minutes. So half a minute left. And then we're into halftime, first half. Right now it's 11 to 9 for Wexford over Antrim. So there's only uh, two points in it. For those that don't know, there's uh, one point for getting over the bar. And if you get a goal, it's three points. There, that's half time. So it's 11 9. And then the players will all come off. And you'll see the kids will all run on the field. That's something that they do at halftime here. Kids will bring their footballs and their hurls and they run outside. Now I'll make my way to the other side. So, walking across the pitch at halftime. So crowd they're all gone out to the break area to go to the bathrooms and get a coffee and some some snacks so you see all the kids running around it's one of the unique places that still have that a lot of them don't you know they don't let you on for uh, health and safety and that but in Wexford they still do see the little kids running around playing with the footballs and the hurls and the slitters so we'll go on this side for the second half and we'll watch this part of it on that side. And then there you see the stands. Tomorrow will be a different atmosphere. There'll be probably a lot more people for the hurling. Anyways, so I'm gonna go find myself a seat and we'll get ready for this second half. And as soon as the, uh, the players start entering the field and that the kids disappear, it happens pretty quick. And then they get ready to throw in for the uh, second half of the match. So now the score has changed to 2 9 to 11. So 2 meaning there's uh, 15 to 11, so Wexford are down by 4. Wexford's done nothing but have wides in the second half. First half they had no wides, and then now they're just out of sorts. So there's about 15 minutes left to play plus added time, and it's 2 10 to 12 points, and so Wexford are down by 4. And they're also down a man because one of the players got a second yellow card, which results in an automatic red. So they're down to 15 against 14 now. Oh, and they just threw it away there.
so it's full time now. We paid the four minutes extra time, so the ref will blow up the whistle any second now. Scores 214 to 14 for Antrim, so they're ahead by six points. Um, Wexford played for the, most of the second half, a man down. But they had a lot of wides. There's another point to end it, so they'll be winning by seven points, it looks like. A good effort by Antrim. And that's the final whistle. So, not the result that Wexford wanted, but it was a good night, a good day out. You know, I like guess it was 15 euros for the ticket. The sky was blue and it wasn't more, uh, too cold, it wasn't too hot. You know, a decent enough crowd. So now we'll just make our way to the exit. There's two exits you can take. Here's one on the Cunard side, or you go back to the other side there. So we're going to make our way to the Cunard side and head home. Alrighty. So tomorrow will be a different, totally different game. So I'm going to have probably two different video, two vlogs. First one will be on the football, which is Saturday at 5.30. And then the second one I'll be doing tomorrow, and that's the hurling. So Wexford are playing um, Westmeath. Uh, that throw-in is at 3 p.m. So I'll have two different vlogs. So you... Let me know if you enjoyed it. If you would come to a game, like I said, there's a lot of club levels. So this is the county teams, which are made from players in different clubs um, but there's also club games that you can go see and just look at the Wexford GA for fixtures and even has the club information so 